Okay, so I've taken my, hi guys, here's the scarecrow um, face. So what I've done is I've taken my 8 inch circle, sealed it, sanded, and base coated it in almondy. I'm going to take my 3 quarter inch flat shader and I'm going to side load in khaki tan, blend it really well. And I'll start up in the top coming from a, well, there's no top, I suppose, top where it's positioned. And I always start at a little bit of an angle coming in so I don't have a flat stop start. And I'll end. So when I'm shading a circle, rather than trying to go all the way around, I shade one half, nice and soft. And then I'm going to softly mop that. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the same thing from my hands. I let that dry. The first one's going to dry while I'm doing this so that. And we want this shadow to come out further. So the three quarters helps for that. I'm going to come and I'm going to shade all the way along my hand. I'll come from this side. And we'll shade the hands. Nice and soft. You just soften the edges by gently tapping with the mop along the edge. So we let him and then now I can turn this piece. Now I will give it a quick dry because it's still taking a little longer than we wanted. So I dry him and I'm going to reload my three quarter and a side load of khaki tan again. Blend, 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 blend. And then I'll start up again. And we're wanting this to come out as far as possible. I'm going to reshade. So we want it to come out nice and far so that when we do our second shadow, we still see some of the khaki tan. So I just nice and softly mop. When you're mopping, don't mop in and out like this. Come from the water side of your paint and just softly tap your way in. If you tap here and then tap back outwards, you're carrying the wet paint out onto your piece. We're, our goal here is to nice and softly soften the edges so you don't see where you stopped and started. So I'm going to dry that. And on my hand, I'll just set that outside for a second. On my hand, nice and soft. I will shade down the middle of the hand. So nice and soft down the middle of the hand. You can flip your brush over and do a back to back float, which makes it look like it's more of a dent in than a shadow from something. And I can soften that as well as I want. So he's nice and soft, floated down the middle and around the edges. We want to have a nice soft float coming down the middle of this base as well. So it doesn't matter if I put it on now or after my nose and eyes are on. really doesn't matter. The whole thing is, is that you're going to just loosely come down the middle of the face, nice and soft. And I can flip it over and back to back float. There's also a way to cheat with this and do a middle load float. We've done them before. I'll just nice and soft 
Mop that out. So a, a cheater middle float is where you would take your brush. Uh, so I've done my brush in the side load like a float. I wet it, out of the shine disappeared. And so now I'm going to take paint and load the middle of my brush. So I pick up my paint and I load. You can do both sides if you want. It really doesn't. So I've put paint on the middle of the brush. And now I'm going to blend just like we do for a regular side load float. So what that does is now, i float on top of here, it blends it out both ways. So when I come down the middle of the hand, it gives me a soft float rather than having to go back to back float. It floats my paint right down the middle. So it's a nice soft Strengthen it up a bit. There. So you see how it's it's great for doing in pleats, if you're doing pleats on a dress or anything like that, because you don't get a dark straight line for a ridge. Okay. So I've transferred my pattern on and I'm going to take and I'm going to shade and they soft float again and switch down to my half inch brush and I'm going to shade nice and soft along the sides of my eyes all the way around. Now what you're wanting you don't have to worry I like to shape right now like this so that we don't have to worry about whether or not we get it on his eye because the eye is getting base coated on top. So it gives you the opportunity. You see how I can kind of creep my shading right into there? I don't have to be so delicate when I'm doing it because it's not based yet and it's going to get based over top of it. So nice and soft. We float that. And while I'm waiting for those to dry, so I can do his nose. I don't want to go up the side of the nose because it's going to wipe it off, right? So I go ahead and side load again and I'm going to nice and softly float under his mouth crease. So just nice and soft. I'll switch and I can use the paint from the other side of the brush now. Come all the way down. He's a pretty easy guy. And I again soften with my mop. I'll dry him up a bit so that I'm able to come up by the nose. So it's the same as we did. You're not using a lot of pressure. Nice and soft when you're floating. Nice and soft all the way around the nose. So He's basically shaded at this point, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, dry him and I'm going to thin a little bit of raw umber. So I'm going to thin raw umber, just add a, a little drop of water into it, that's all we're going to do. Just add a little drop of water so that it makes it a little softer. Stir it up 
we're not making a wash it just you just thin it a little tiny bit when you're shading so that your color will be a little more transparent this can be done with uh, stain antiquing medium if you prefer to so that it keeps your paint transparent you just load your brush in that so we're going to side load I'm going to blend it in always blend really really good i'm using my half inch and i'm going to nice and softly strengthen my shading we're not intending on covering all of the khaki tan I'm kind of doing a hop everywhere trying not to get running across where I've just shaded but you see that we're keeping it nice and delicate and then I'll shade under and I can just kind of hit and miss and just do in the little curves even it's not intended on completely shading we're wanting to strengthen up so it's just nice soft floats here and there just to strengthen it up and I'll do all the way around the outside edges as well so side load so this first part wasn't too much the reason for our class having so little in it now we'll do the base coating which everybody will have done then before class so nice and soft I just strengthened up that shading I don't try to walk that out or bring it out very far and now I'll just go ahead and do my base coating. All right, and that should be good. So once you have your base coating done, um, and your board is, if you're doing the sign board, your board will be base coated in the sand gray, even cobblestone. If you have more cobblestone, go ahead and do it. Either one doesn't matter because you're going to streak them. Okay, we'll see you next week. Bye.